this is an air conditioner heaven. I've been here before, but I never got the video uploaded because it sucked. So, I'm doing this place again. This is a row of buildings with endless air conditioners that go all the way down that way. So I'm just going to start from the beginning and go all the way down. First, here is a tiny little Carrier 38 CKC like East Back Exploration's old unit. Nineteen ninety-eight, two ton. Bristol reciprocating. Here's a newer ream. Cool fan blades. Two thousand eighteen, three ton. Copeland scroll. And this is a straight cool. Here's a Bryant. Older Bryant. If I remember correctly, this was from 2002. Nope, 2004. It's been a long time since I've been here, so. This is not my first time seeing these units, but this is your first time seeing these units since the first video never got uploaded. Bristol reciprocating. So there's these three first. And then down here, there are more. Oh and yes, and there's this carrier through the wall unit here. big. Might be a PTAC unit. And down here is a lot of reams. There's an alley right there. But I guess there's a lot of reams. An old, older classic here, Ten Seer. 1999 is from this five ton. Here's another one. This one doesn't seem to have a data sheet. No, it's back here. 2003. This one's newer. And it's also a five ton. You gotta go through these fast because this is a lot of air conditioners. Here's a smaller one of these reams. And 2003, 37,000 BTU, which is a tiny bit over a 3 ton. Here's another one. This is a little one, probably a 2 ton. Um, actually, this data sheet is empty. There's no information on it. That's weird. You have to ream. Here's another. Um, so, yeah, there's a lot of air conditioners here. 2003, 5 ton. Even classics. Here's three more, and then we start to get to some of the newer units. There's a Bryant Legacy line up there. This one. Here. 2002. Uh, two and a half ton. 2003, three ton. And this one is covered in vines, so I'm assuming it doesn't run. Another 2003, 2.5 ton. Ream Classic. And then we continue up there, but I'm gonna cut the video. No, I didn't, so that's why I wanna do it now. Alright, so I stopped there. Probably. So I stopped there, and now this is another unit that I start now. This is a Bryant, I believe. Doesn't have a logo, but I'm pretty sure it's Bryant. I'm not sure if it's been running. It doesn't feel like it. Copeland scroll. Uh, 2011, and it's a four ton. Pretty sure it's a Bryant. And then here's another Ream Classic X, the box-shaped ones. Bristol, no, Copeland, it's Copeland reciprocating. I cannot really read that, it's hard to get to. And 
then big hole there. And then here is an older pane or something. And this is a straight coal, but it's got a suction accumulator for some reason. Usually those are only on heat pumps. But there is no reversing valve. It's got a scroll compressor. This is an older ICP, some sort of ICP. 93, 4 ton. Another same classic. Those windows are open, so can't really get there. I can't really get to the data on that. Carrier Comfort. LG scroll. Crap. Gentech motor. Um. Oh, this is brand new. This is from 2019. Um, three ton. Yeah, it's from 2019. It's new. Here's a train. Um, compressor is a scroll. And I'm not sure what kind. Probably an Alliance or Klamatov. Not been running. 2014, three ton. Oof. And then up here, more reams. More classic X's. Culpin reciprocating compressor. 1992 4 ton. There's another one. 1992 4 ton. And up here is a Lennox, 2 Lennox. Lennox Merritt. I remember these. Clip and scroll. Four ton for 2019. This one's from also 2019. It's also a four ton. Here's an American standard. Alliance Rail Compressor Silver Series. Does not look like there's any data. Yep. Um, 2015, three ton. And here's another Merit right here. This is an older one. Scroll Compressor. 2010, four ton. Okay, there was that Linux. And here are two more reams, which I actually know these reams because these are from my old um, place for gymnastics. This is worn off here, so it's from December of some year, four ton. And it's got an old reciprocating compressor. And here's another. This one is V up. Something hit it. It's really beat up. And this one has another reciprocating compressor. Nineteen ninety one. Here's one more down here. This one is 
kind of high up. Reciprocating compressor. 1990, four ton. There's another. This one's really high up. And that doesn't seem like enough space. 1994 ton. Don't think it's. No, I don't, don't, none of these are running. I thought they would be. It's fairly warm today. Here's one more ream and then a Goodman. Nope, this one's a Rude. Rude Achiever 10. Copeland Reciprocating Compressor. This one's fat. And the data is taken over by plants, but it's from 1992. And I don't know the tonnage. Somebody just threw away their pillars. Look. Pillars. And last but not least, a Goodman. This is why I think these are kind of flimsy look. Two thousand eleven four ton. There's the compressor in there. And yeah, I think that's the last of it. There's no more over here. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoy this big air conditioner heaven. There's like at least 30 of them here. There's a lot of air conditioners. I mean, look, it's just building after building of air conditioner edge. Look at that, just all the way down. Air conditioners. That's crazy. This is the most epic air conditioner heaven I have visited. Just rows and rows of air conditioners. Or heat pumps. I don't think any of these were heat pumps though. None of them are running. So that's kind of an oof, but at least I got to film them. I should have done it earlier in the year. Just look at all these units. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Because I sure did. Out. On one unit running here in this cooler thing. What's this? Some kind of roof unit or something. Yeah, I'm not sure what this thing is, but it's that's a carrier. So yeah. But I found some more units up here, so now I'll film these. Man, this is an air conditioner heaven. Where this is the jackpot. Yes, yes. I found even more. I know. I'll try to be quick. American Standard Allegiance 13. From 2011. It's a four ton. Big red Alliance scroll. Here's another ream. Another one of these reams. 
Classic X. Don't, that one doesn't have a data sheet, I don't think. Copen reciprocating. Here's a little Linux Elite. Tecumseh reciprocating. One and a half ton from 1989. American Standard or Train. Yeah, American Standard. And then three more reams. Silver Series. Alliance. I was prepared for this. My battery died, but I brought another one, so let's continue. There's this. Then these three more reams here. Classic X. Some old reciprocating compressor here. And then three more here. 1990, 4-ton. Another rude, tiny little one. Huh, that data sheet isn't printed either. Up here, another Ream Classic and Ream Value. Copeland scroll. This one's from 98. This one's from 2010. Up here is a carrier comfort. Big one. Man. This must be like a five ton or something. This is huge. Copeland or LG or something. Ooh, this is a this is a six ton. Yeah, this is huge. Or it's like a five and a half ton or something. It's something big. Here's a small Linux mirror right here. Mm, micro channel. Here is Three ton from no. Let's see here. Yeah, three ton from 2019. And then Bristol reciprocating compressor. This is a Guardian. And it's a two ton from who knows. Yeah, this is a Guardian. Cool. And then more roots. Man, this looks really old. What's that? Really old roots. Nineteen eighty-nine. Here's an Ameristar or something. I'm not sure what that is. And then there's some more old roots and a Lennox. And I can't really get to them because of these big trucks. So I'll go around. So there's that one. There's another Lennox mirror there. And here we've got a Goodman. Copen reciprocating compressor. So this is an old one. Older. Oh, this is all messed up. I can't read that. Probably from 2010 or whatever. Another really old rude. Can't get to the dead on that one. Here's an Amana. Compressor blanket, but it's a scroll. Four ton from 2014. Another Goodman and ooh, an Ordine.
This is a newer gun, man. It's got a scroll. Um, <sighs> no data on that one. Here's a Nordine. Lightning bolt kind. Here we go. Four ton from 2005. And there's a couple more down here, and that's it. And I'm going to end the video now because I'm running out of time. But this is a lot of air conditioners. Trust me. This is a heaven. Copeland Squirrel. Forton from uh, 2003. And here's a Tappan. Another Nordine. Squirrel compressor. Ton from uh, 2001. Jeez. All right. And there's. Oh man, I gotta go back here another time. I don't have time for all those. Sorry. I will come back. I will come back. I promise. But I just can't. I can't film the rest. But man, there is a lot of air conditioners here. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I filmed a whole lot of air conditioners here. And there will be a part two. I will go back for all those down there. But man, there is a ton. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I will come back here to film the rest of the air conditioners sometime. But for now, out. All right, there's just a few more here, and then I'm really gonna... Oh, there's something running over there. Yes, my first running air conditioner of the day. All right, here's a carrier performance. 2009, another 66,000 V2, that's really big. But yeah, carrier performance. And right up here, there's something running. It's not this. Here's another one of these, though. Maristar or something. He, there, this one has a... Actually, this might be some sort of Nordine. I don't know. It has a squirrel compressor, though. Up here, though. These Nordines. They're running. This one and this one. This one just shut off. This one's a rattler. Yeah, that one just shut off. Use this one again. Uh, something's up with this one. The fan motor is like struggling to stay on. Two ton from 2008. Hmm. Do you hear that? The fan motor. Oh. What the heck? Oh, I think it's trying to be in a low ambient kit. Do you hear that? The fan motor is like. Yeah, I think it's in a low ambient kit, but it's just a little bit glitchy. But yeah, finally I found some running. Yeah. Now. I am done. And that, yes, there is even more. Hard to believe it, but there is even more. So yes, there will be a part two and I will come back for the rest. I'll be sure to film the, them all on this property. This is a giant property and there's lots of air conditioners here. And I have not filmed them all yet, but I plan to. So I will come back and film the rest someday. Out.